If you don't have a printer or you don't want to print it, you can also just use your computer to annotate or draw highlight things on the PDF file itself, okay? So I'm gonna show you real quickly how to download an extension in Chrome that will allow you to do that, okay? So here we go. We've got this PDF file, we don't have a printer, and we wanna mark our answers on it. So what we need to do is go install a Chrome extension and the best way to do that through the district is back to the ClassLink homepage. So from the ClassLink homepage, you're gonna to go to the HEB ISD Chrome Web Store. This is not the same Chrome Web Store as normal. This is a sanctioned one with approved extensions that will work on the school's network and everything. So please make sure you're going through ClassLink and then to the HEB ISD Chrome Web Store. This is also where you can get a lot of other great extensions for Chrome, not just the one I'm going to show you. So the one we're going to get is called Kami, okay? They have a completely free version that I have tested on student Chromebooks, and it works, okay? So this is the, the one that I recommend. There are other ways to do this, of course, but this is what I suggest. So click on Kami. If you don't see Kami right here, you can just search for it so k a m i there it is we're going to add that to chrome button there and then click add extension <clears throat> okay so here's the interesting thing uh chrome's asking me if i want to turn on sync so that all of my computers will get this same thing I'm not gonna bother with that right now, but just realize that if you want this extension to be on all your computers that you have Chrome on, then you can turn that on. Okay, it says that it's been added to Chrome. So now all I need to do is up here, this little puzzle icon, I can click the Kami extension right there. All right, so this brings us to a login and we're gonna log in with Google because we're already logged in with Google through HEB, okay? If, if it didn't jump you right into here, you may have to actually choose your HEB if you've got other uh, Google accounts logged in. So you do need to log into your HEB account right there. Then we're gonna choose open from computer, all right? And that's gonna let us get to that study sheet that we just downloaded from Canvas. Make sense? So we got a PDF file. I'm going to hit open. So now we're going to go back to our markup. Text highlighter is what we want. And we're just going to use this to highlight the correct answer. So I'll go ahead and give you the correct answer for number one. Give you a head start. The correct answer is the roadmap for the project. So I'm just clicking and dragging over that text and I let go and it's highlighted, okay? So you're gonna continue doing that until you have all the right answers or you can save it right now. So I'll go ahead and click the little disc icon to save it or even just download up there. That's easier. So when you click download, it says, do you wanna save it to your Google Drive or your computer? And do you want to save it with the annotations that you just did? You can even export just the annotations if you want. But you usually want the default, which is just this middle one right here. And you can rename it if you want to. All right. And then you just hit begin export. And it's going to generate a new PDF file with your annotations on top of it. So you can use that to study later. Successfully processed, downloading, and there it is. So now I have a new PDF file down here called Kami Export with the same name. And I can open that up, double click, and here we go again. So this is the, the new PDF file after the annotation has been put on. All right, there we go. 
So that's my demonstration on how to install and use the Kami extension to mark up your PDF files.